All right, here we go. Broken sword. So let's restore our save. Uh, hey, yeah, hey is where we left off. All right, so we are in the pub. Um, <laughs> uh, Archie, that's funny about AJ. Why is this an emoji? Vibration mode? <laughs> I don't know, but I'm I'm a fan of it. I'm here for it. Mystic Towers. I don't think I know that one. I'll jot that one down. I'm always looking for good OSTs to play on here. I'll jot that down. Mystic Towers. Cool. <laughs> Archie, nice. <laughs> yeah, that's right, uh, Rose Buster. So um, we have made it into the castle. We are in Ireland. Uh, we've left Harris. Um, this is our current inventory for folks uh, that need to have a look. Um, but yeah, we uh, were talking to this Fitzgerald fellow here who uh, knew a bit too much. And he's been uh, hit and then kind of kidnapped by this killer who this is, his, uh, to our knowledge, their second kind of, um, I guess, strike. I realize that the scum VM window is completely moved up. That's better. Um, so anyways, we kind of ignored that because no one seems to really care that he is uh, almost in certain danger. Uh, but that allowed us to get into this castle, which is supposedly haunted. Uh, and inside we found this goat that we cannot get past. We're trying to basically go into the, this dig site to find a gem. Um, and yeah, we can't get in because of this goat. That is a puzzle that is still ongoing in my brain. Um, but yeah, on the other side of things, uh, we did manage, uh, to convince the, the bartender here, the landlord, that we are... Actually, an electrician, uh, but instead, no, we we're just this guy named George who is on vacation and is apparently a part time detective now uh, as well. Um, so, yeah, we're, we, I think we need to, to fix the pumps. I think the pumps are broken. So, <laughs> Ireland, where's that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you never played this or any point and clicks. Oh, well, this is a good one to start with. I think hopefully you enjoy the, the playthrough. All right, well, we'll head back here. This was. Previously off limits, so this is brand new for us. Well, well, what? Are you going to fix this glass washer or not? Oh, he wants the glass washer fixed. For some reason, I thought it was the the pumps. Where are you going, pal? Let's try to click on the pumps. I was about to reach for the pump when I came to my senses. A rash move like that in a strange country with strange customs could be my last the goat was one of them yeah i've i've heard that this goat thing is um is a very i think uh, it was described and i can't remember who said it apologies but somebody said that this is like one of two adventure game puzzles that have its own wikipedia page so that must mean that it's a doozy <laughs> As you, Archie, yeah, okay. <laughs> That's like a hilarious way to describe it, yeah. Won't let you check the pumps without a small test of your skills, which is why we're doing the glass watcher. Okay, right on. Thank you. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, well, let's have a look, shall we? We can do this. Fake it till you make it. physically wrong with the glass washer. Okay. Well, that means it's we did it. There was nothing physically wrong with the glass washer. Nothing physically wrong. But there's something mentally wrong. So the only other thing I can think of off the top of my head is we have this electric buzzer, electric, maybe that is a thing, and of course we have this wire. It was a short piece of wire twisted into a rough circle. So my guess would be that full throttle, like wall, rock wall puzzle, but I don't think it's that one. I think it's something different because I think we talked about it or somebody, somebody, let me know. 
That's it. Yeah, it is the the Gabe three one. That is right. Okay, here we go. Oh, you just shrugged. Okay, that's not gonna help. Um. Okay. Here I was thinking this is gonna be easy peasy. So he doesn't want to do anything with this, huh? Is this a separate hotspot? It is. Okay, well that's good to know. Do we... I replaced the fuse with a piece of wire. Okay. I knew it was dangerous, but I was desperate enough to disregard everything I knew about standard safety precautions. Excuse me, Mr. Leary. <laughs> From another room. Glass washer, no problem. Bingo! And a blessing to all the saints. A free half pint to that man on the house. No. Ah, Could fine. you take a look at the beer pumps? Well, I guess so, but I'm not making any promises. If you can't fix them, I'll have a riot on me hands. The pumps are in the cellar, right? That's right. You'll find a flashlight down there somewhere. Okay. Okay. Well, great. This is, uh, this is good. Down we go. What a dumb place to store a flashlight. A dark cellar. The only way I was going to find anything down there was to feel around. <laughs> For some reason, I only heard, what a dumb place. And I was like, are you just complaining about, like, the existence of a basement? And then he kept going, and I was like, oh, okay. Well, I think that's the only thing that is clickable. That's up. Very spooky. Basement music here. <laughs> this little thing sticks out like such a thor uh, sore thumb because it's like not part of the background. I pushed the lever and heard the grating of metal, but nothing appeared to happen. Okay. Nothing so, I'll, I mean, there, there's something in here, I guess. But we probably can't see or click on it until... I pulled the lever and the bolt creaked back into place. Until we get this flashlight. Well, I guess, um... I pushed the lever. Yeah, we'll, we'll push the lever, I guess, and we'll see if anything has changed up here. I guess we'll ask. Excuse me. Uh, yes, sir? Okay, we don't have anything in here. I don't want anything. Uh, just give me a shout when you do. Imagine walking up to a bartender and be like, I'd like nothing, please. And just moving on your way. I'm like, okay. Thanks for letting me know, pal. It was impossible to return the switch to its original position. Okay, I was curious if something was would change over here with that. <laughs> Don't do it, Ticketmaster. I the trap door and an overpowering smell of stale beer rose from the cellar below. I looked down on a stone tiled floor, way too far to jump. Okay. Who's this? Excuse me. There was a nasty feeling in my guts I usually associated with light. Is this the eyes. guy? It was Khan. What's the problem? Khan. Did you see what happened here a few minutes ago? What was that? A man was involved in an unfortunate accident. I didn't see anything. What about the boy? Uh, he doesn't know anything either. The kid, well, you know how it is in these rural communities. Not enough genes to go around. Oh, I geez. prayed McGuire had the sense to keep his mouth shut. Was the guy hurt bad? He's been taken care of, but he thinks he dropped a small parcel. You didn't happen to find it, did you? If I had, I would have taken it to the police. Of course. Thank you. Well, I that was a bit unexpected. <laughs> didn't think that this guy would come back to the scene of the crime again. Heard his voice too, nice and creepy. This is what we'd expect. 
Yeah, I think that that is the killer that we've been dealing with. So he was the clown from the beginning of the game that bombed the cafe that we were in. That like sets the whole game in motion. And then also was driving this Ferrari and <laughs> hit that Fitzgerald guy. I shouldn't be laughing at that. But uh, it was just kind of a series of unfortunate events um, where he gets hit by a car. And uh, apparently now he's been taken care of, which doesn't sound great. Broken Sword's infamous goat puzzle is the premier example of annoying adventure game puzzles. It's a beacon of sense and reason compared to the Gabriel Knight cat mustache. <laughs> it wasn't my nerves that stopped me jumping. It was my damned legs. They wouldn't move. Can we get in here? We now know that obviously there's a uh, the package is out here. I took hold of the grating and pulled hard, but it didn't move. It's probably in there, right? Nothing over here. All right, McGuire, what's up with you? 13 going on 30. Hey, McGuire. What do you want to know? You got nothing. Okay. See you later, kid. Okay, mister. Good, uh, good talk. Okay, so we need to figure out how to get down here. The trap door gave access to the cellar of the bar. Okay. Maybe having the grate open will, like, make it brighter down there. We can get the flashlight, perhaps. I don't know if that's connected to the same part of the cellar. I'm not really sure. That's the case. Oh, there we go. Bingo right there's the package as well then I noticed a flash of light something sparkling beneath the open trap door yes it was Pegram's gem all right a large uncut blue stone as I held it aloft I realized the fascination it could command I guess I was already under its spell did you find it? <laughs> what? Whatever you was looking for. Uh, yeah. Listen, McGuire. I want you to keep this to yourself. No problemo. Just chuck us up a crate of lager. No way. You're not old enough. We can sell it and make some cash. Forget it, kid. <laughs> I couldn't betray Mr. Leary's trust. I could. For sure. That old misery guts deserves it. If you want to do me a favor, Keep a lookout for that guy in the suit. Okay. But it'll cost you a pack of chips. Oh, and shout if you see that Ferrari. Pack of chips, huh? Not crisps? Interesting note. I searched the trash, but there was nothing useful there. We always gotta search the trash. With these. I searched. Yeah, that's the same hot spot. Frozen fries out of the bag. <laughs> yeah, exactly. In my head, I'm like, is, is that what you're asking for? But hey, you know, I'm not one to judge. You do you, Maguire. I looked among the cleaning materials, but saw nothing I could use. Okay. I All one thing. I've got a drippy faucet here. Probably need to fix that up. What's this? It was a calendar with a faded photograph of a prize-winning carp. Okay. Carp? No, nothing on that. Okay. I heard that our uh, this Peabody guy, where I think that's his name, that we're chasing after here, who had the gem, well, was hiding the gem with Fitzgerald before. Now that we have it here, um, was going fishing. I didn't know. Figured that would that would help. What am I clicking on here? Was this bean bean can? The carton was damp and soggy, useless. It was an empty carton which had once contained caustic soda. Caustic soda. Okay, I can't pick it up. Wash our hands, perhaps? The faucet creaked, coughed, and spewed out a stream of rusty colored water. It was a rusty faucet. Okay, is there anything we can do with rusty faucet water? We like use the, the cup now? The damp and soggy. 
Useless. Useless. Maybe we can pick up like the empty, like the empty beer uh, cup, the pint glass. I tried to pull the. Le okay, yeah, it's open. That makes sense. Okay, I don't think there's anything else I can really interact with uh, in here. Pretty cool. We have this with though. A large blue gemstone. Um, all right, I guess, I guess we leave. I probably should turn off the faucet, but, you know, we'll run those bills up. Excuse me. Uh, yes, sir. Does this gem mean anything to you? <laughs> Phew. What a beauty. I bet you wish that was real, don't you? I was curious Thanks. what would happen. Yeah, I did leave that water going, didn't I? I don't know what I don't know what to do with the water yet. Alright, so what do we what do we acquire? Obviously we have the gem. The gem is important. Um let the water be free. I shut off the faucet as tight as I could, but it kept on dripping. Kept on dripping. It was a rusty faucet. And can we stick like this in here to make it like overflow? I don't know why we even need to do that, but... No. It was the barman's flashlight. Ninety-six. Okay, cool. I knew it must have been something. It would have been contemporary when it came out, I guess. So yeah, like mid nineties makes. It's a pretty good guess. It wasn't my nerves that stopped me. Yeah. Okay. Anything else with our buddy here? Hey, McGuire. What do you want to know? What do you think of my flashlight? It's a torch. That's what we call it on this side of the Atlantic. Want a closer look at the gem, McGuire? No, I don't. Jules is for girls. You'd better hide that, mister. What if the pixie comes back? You'll be in trouble then. I don't believe in pixies. Underneath that costume is a psychotic killer. Smart. <laughs> that... See you later, kid. Okay, mister. He says that as if it's, like, better somehow. Like, oh, it's not a pixie. It's just a killer. <laughs> Do I call it a torch? I, uh, I respond to torch. Like, if somebody says, pass me the torch, I would, like, know what they mean. But I would say flashlight, yeah. That's one that I haven't, uh... Haven't turned around on quite yet. I'm just trying to think of, of what we've what have we accomplished here. We have the gem, obviously a key, what I expect to be a key item in the game, and we have a flashlight. It was impossible to return the switch to its original position. So the only other thing that we, that's interactable in there is the water. Not like we can do anything to. And I don't... I don't really yet under... I know, I guess. Like, what... We could do with them quite yet. I, I'm... I'm perhaps improperly framing this around the goat. I'm like, how am I going to use this flashlight with the goat? <laughs> the faucet creaked 
coughed and spewed out a stream of rusty colored water. It doesn't seem like I can do anything um, like with with this faucet, right? Like use the nose. The photo shouldn't matter. Yeah, what's up, stripes? Yeah, my accent is. Uh, everyone always calls that one out with when I say the word water. Water. Just gonna do the classic adventure game thing here really quick because I'm wondering if there's just something very odd about this. I might be overthinking it, which is totally possible, and I tried that one. <laughs> yeah, that, that's right. Yeah, the, the real water for bagels, that's right. I get that from everybody. I have a very specific way of saying that, uh, even even within the U.S. Um, <laughs> got a bit of a weird accent in all actuality, but the way that I say that is um, is, is a uh, a Western New York uh, accent, the very hard A water. Get it from everybody. Mexican food and two and a half slices of pie. Regret. Sounds amazing. That's my understanding, yes, Archie. <laughs> Oh, you're referring it to George. Well, either way. A little fun anecdote. All right, here's our goat friend here. And uh, for those that have not seen this before, I'll uh, I'll show off how it goes. So if we want to, say, go walk over to this uh, kind of wagon wheel thing, we get bonked, and then we lay here contemplating our life briefly until we get up. Same thing happens over here if we try going down, which I think is ultimately where we're trying to go. Here we'll just we'll just kind of yeah we'll take a look at the clouds really quick. <laughs> but yeah, so you know we, I went through this a little bit last stream. And I was kind of thinking about it. And then once all the stuff with the bartender happened, I was like, OK, like we probably don't have what we need to progress yet. Now, I have to be honest, um, the flashlight and the gem. Not two items that I would be like, yes, that will help us get past a goat. But what we can do is is we have to think in big uh, adventure game uh, knowledge here, like this is a I must have a bit of moon logic in it. Otherwise, it would not be super famous. Um, so let's see. Uh, I guess we'll first off try the new uh, items on the goat and see what happens. Oh, the other thing I can do is I can talk to the goat. Um, so George will walk up and and, uh, and talk. Here we go. Hey, Billy. The goat responded with a cool and penetrating stare. I want the goat to be like, my name's not Billy. All right, so we'll try the flashlight. Yo, what's up, movie battle? Supreme Court. Good to see you again. Just a shrug. Just a shrug. Classic. Okay, how about the gem? I mean, the goat is on, on a, I don't know, maybe he likes gems. Okay, completely. <laughs> Good start. I mean, it's a gem. Can we maybe diffract some, uh, some colors? On here, like kind of use these together. Uh, that is not a good idea. Oh, wow! There's a line to remind me that that is a terrible idea. I didn't know if maybe we could like hold it up and do a little like a little Pink Floyd on the wall here, if you know what I'm saying. Maybe this puzzle is infamous because it has completely normal logic. Maybe that's true. That <laughs> that is very true. That is uh, always a possibility. Maybe we can make the goat shake our hand. I try this. No, okay. Um, so yeah, we've got this. It was a rusted piece of iron. Maybe part of a plow or something. 
Let's see, we've got this thing here. I don't think there's anything else that is interactable. So it's pretty much this like plow axle thing. The next area to go down, presumably the dig site, I guess I don't know that for sure, but to the to another room I've never been to. And the goat, right? So, um, okay. Can we use things on, on the other items? <laughs> that will never not be funny though. At least it's a pleasing animation, like every time the... the goat gets me. Yeah, I think I've tried all the items on the goat. Like... I don't even think I can... Like, I kind of lose control of... George, during these, uh, during these moments here, because I'd love to like hug the wall here, but yeah, no, no dice. Yo, Terravan, thank you very much for the raid. Welcome in, everyone. <laughs> video games, indeed. All the video game you can buy over here on this channel. Thanks very much for, uh, your raid, I hope you had a good stream. We're playing through Broken Sword 1 right now. I've never played it before. And I uh, am right now in a showdown with this goat. So you're joining at a, at a very fun time as I contemplate how what to do here. Um, yeah, welcome in everybody. Just for safety's sake, just, I, I'm uh, I'm not looking for hints or anything like that. So just uh, enjoy the uh, enjoy the ride. Just covering my bases. Um, that actually reminds me. Let's give a shout out out here because I remembered to do this for one. Shout out, Terror Van. Boom, there you go. Shouts out to, to Terror Van. <laughs> Throw a boulder. I mean, technically, but... Yeah, 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 you're good, you're good. Um, uh, yeah, this is a tricky one. Can I use maybe something with the uh, the space over here? No. I think it'd be a... Yeah. The one thing I was wondering about is, like, if there was a... Uh, like a moment as the goat was about to approach me that I'd be able to like move or use an item or something like that. But it's like, as soon as the charge occurs, that's it. Like it's already happening. And what's annoying is it doesn't seem like I can even do anything else. Like uh, I can't interact with, with like the, the trip spots. Um, which is kind of annoying. And additionally, I can't walk in any of this over here either. It's kind of like very, very tight. Um, like, I don't know, like the movement's like I can go down this path and then like a very thin line over here and then over to this spot. But like, it looks like I can step inside the sandbags here, but, but like, Can I can I talk to the goat again? The goat. Yeah, it's annoying because the goat. The goat. Like if I talk to the goat, I have to be across from it, like over here. Hey, Billy. 
My the goat responded with a cool and penetrating stare. He takes the conversation in this particular location. But like you can see that I'm, I'm clicking right now on these sections. So okay, I can get real close maybe. Yeah, but you can see we kind of take this little this dive here. <laughs> Is Billy the greatest of all time? I don't know. Billy is a goat, perhaps not the goat. Hmm. <laughs> Build the bear trap. We did have um my, my initial thought last time, because we had that um we had a, a, a snare basically for a rabbit from the insane uh, hay fever guy in the pub. I was like, maybe that, like, we need to build a trap or something. But that ended up being used for, um, yeah, it's kind of access to everything else. Can I, like, keep going? Can we just press through? Like, can we go past the goat? Like, if we can go over here, this would be really cool. Like, get some hustle, George. Like, why does he insist on walking? Like, if he just had a little bit of pep in the step, we could, we could get, we could get through here. You know what I mean? Okay, and there, yeah, there's nothing else over here. I'm just gonna check this screen. Um, cause I, yeah, I think the only thing was this right here. This is a, a... I tugged at the lifting key and found it was held quite secure. Yeah, this allows us to get up and over, and it's basically in there now. So the only other thing that that we don't really have an explanation for is that running water, which is, I think I left it running. Uh, so that's just going at this point. That is just happening, flooding the basement, we could hope. Not that that would help us, I don't think at all, but. I guess I could go back to the pub. Maybe something changes if I leave all the the water going. It was a rusted piece. Rusted piece of iron. It was a rusted piece of iron. Maybe part of a plow or something. It was. Okay. It was a rusted piece. It's interesting that like you can you can view anything from anywhere. Do you want to look at the picture here, little guy? I've tried the it nose. Was bright... It was the soggy tissue I'd found in the sewers. The old soggy tissue. <laughs> it is appreciated, Rose Buster. It is. I, uh, I've been in that situation before where you're like, oh, if you just did this. But that's that's what makes this uh, at least fun for me, is trying to... Trying to figure this thing out. Right, I'm going to go back to the pub quick. I'm going to reset my, uh, my brain a little bit. Let's just... I may ask one question soon um, as to uh, give myself a bit of confidence with my line of thinking, but I'm, I'm going to hold off on asking it shortly. <laughs> All of them. Is there anything over here? I know that this, um, this scrolls, right? Yeah. Okay, it just goes... Over here and then the door the door is its own thing here I think it's just one giant hitbox I think just gonna double check here pushing with all my strength got me nowhere they didn't budge I really need to start working out 
The gates were made of solid, age-blackened wood. The gates were... And there's nothing else special with that, so we'll try these things on it. No, flashlight I didn't expect to do anything with. That, that gem. On the back of the cart was a crazily stacked tower of hay bales, leaning precariously against the castle wall. It would be nice if we could, like, I don't know, take some hay, right? Do, do goats eat hay? Because let me tell you what, I've got, I've got hay for days over here. Doesn't seem like it's a, uh... They do? Okay, confirmed from someone who grew up on a farm. Perfect. You'd think that that would be a good a good approach to this then. Just grab a handful of hay and be like, I'll leave this over here. You you snack on that. I'm gonna skedaddle on the, the other side of uh you know, of, of the thing here. Based on color wheels, there's another thing to pursue here, but if you can't actually see it, I don't know if that's the case. Okay. I'll keep that in mind because, uh, yeah, you never know. This game has already proven to be slightly difficult with my my color blindness. Yeah, I think this, no matter where I click on this, we go up, right? We go up. Yeah. Okay. That seemed like a good uh, a good idea, but. All right, so I'm going to pop in the pub. Have a quick, uh, just little look-see down there. At least this isn't, and I say this before it probably happens, but at least it's not like King's Quest. I feel like going up and down this hay bale too many times in a King's Quest game, like you would just die on one of them. You'll just perish somehow. We've already talked to the guy who was at the hay bale. Like, I, if it were me making the game, the guy who was sitting at the hay bale, if I'm like, hey, like, there was a goat there. He's like, oh, yeah, that goat loves, you know, hint, you know, <laughs> and go from there. I might hit up the phone. Maybe, maybe uh, there's a hint on the, we'll call the, the virgin hotline. The revolution hotline. Okay, so this is, yeah, this has just been straight up, uh... It was a rusty faucet. Just going, huh? Cleaning solution, right? I looked among the cleaning materials, but saw nothing I could use. It was a bunch of cleaning materials. It was an empty carton which had once contained caustic soda. The carton was damp and soggy. Useless. And what is the definition of caustic soda? Sodium hydroxide. Okay. Type of base that can neutralize acid and is soluble in water. Often used to manufacture cleaning products such as soap and detergent. Ugh. <laughs> yeah, we're not going to drink that, that's for sure. <laughs> this whole section just like is so inviting to click on, but there really is nothing other than this. Uh... Like, I, yeah, that had the gem, I guess. We just left the garbage on the floor. That's cool of us. Oh, did they run the goat back? That's funny. Drunk goat would be funny for an adventure game. <laughs> it's too bad we can't pick up the pint because I've got some ideas for that. But um, let's yell at Todrick no again. Phoning that guy again. Yeah, was, like, that'd be really funny. All right. Hello. Cooler. J'écoute. 
Nico? Who is this? It's me, George. George. Oh, hello, George. Where are you? I'm in Ireland. What's it like there? Kind of sleepy. Comatose, even. <laughs> Did you get to talk to Jeez. Peter? I haven't found him yet. I figured I'd call you first. Are you okay? Oh, sure I am. Don't worry about me, George. Any signs of our friend the clown? Yeah. He turned up dressed as a pixie. What? Did he see you? He came back and talked to me. Oh, you're crazy, George. The killer knows who you are. Relax. It wasn't me he was after. It was Pegram's gem. Okay, we just just hung up on her on that case. All right, there you go. <laughs> Here's a really exciting part of the story. Click. Gotta go. Didn't even say goodbye. Hey. Hey. It's for Hello horses. There again, mister. And Do you goats. recognize this gem? Saints be praised. It must be worth a fortune. Maybe it is. Have you seen it before? It's the one which Pegram took from the dig. Oh. How come you've got it now? Yeah, my guy. You left it behind. I'm looking after it. Oh. You could take that to Dublin and sell it. Okay. Probably shouldn't show this to everybody, but. Excuse me, Mr. O'Brien. Hello there. What now? Do you recognize this gem? Ah, that's a beautiful stone. Is it the one which Pegram found? And the reason why both he and Fitzgerald have disappeared. Then it's only a matter of time before you vanish too. <laughs> Thanks. Hello. What now? This is the gem that Pegram found in the castle. So that's what all the fuss was about. I can't see why myself. Why men would fight and steal and kill over a little bauble like that. Well, it's kind of neat the way it sparkles. Pretty, pretty thoughtful there, George. This is the gem that... And that's where it belongs. Hmm, okay. What do you think of my flashlight? Those electric lamps are useful but limited in lifespan in my experience. I was given one for my birthday, but it stopped working after a month. Well, the battery was probably drained. What? Nobody told me. I threw it away. Okay. I gotta go. Interesting, I didn't expect uh, that conversation. <laughs> Excuse me. Look at my flashlight. Uh, yes, sir? I found your flashlight. So I see it. You'd better keep hold of that until you fix the pumps. All right, we're fixing the pumps. I wonder if we really need to do that. Do we really need to fix the pumps, you know? Excuse me, Mr. O'Brien. <laughs> Hello there. What now? What do you think of this flashlight? It's not a very practical piece of equipment, is it? It's not switched on. Well, I'm referring to the lack of a bracket. How would you be fixing that to your bicycle? I don't have a bicycle. That's okay. Really insightful stuff here. Just trying to see if we get a little something hey. here. Hey! Hello there again, mister. What do you think of this flashlight? It's not very bright, is it? I could say the same about some of the present company. That's true. But don't let him hear you. Keep it under your hat, mister. That flashlight, like your brain dial, is not switched on. I don't think he heard me. What a crew, huh? Hello again. <laughs> what? What do you think of this flashlight? Very useful. That could be very handy in the dark. How much do you want for it? It's not for sale. It belongs to Leary. Okay, that's that. You can look at the gem, maybe. Hello again. What? What does this gem mean to you? Well, well. Would you look at that? Pretty. Do you recognize it? No. Okay. Nothing else going on here. Alright. I guess we've exhausted the things that we can exhaust here.
So I'm going to ask a question. And I want to be clear but that it's going to be a yes or no question. So there's no need to, uh, I don't know, give too much detail on it. But my question is, with this goat thing, right, this goat puzzle, do I have the inventory required to get past the goat? Or to do whatever I need to with the goat? Now, if it's something that doesn't require inventory, the answer can still be yes, because, like, that means we can we can do it as is right now. That's kind of my question. Okay, yes. Okay. That was my, that was the question I was going to ask before. Um, but my worry was, like, maybe I am missing a piece of inventory, and I'm, like, stressing out about a puzzle that, that I shouldn't be stressing out about yet. Do you know what I mean? You ever been there where you're like, oh, you forgot this, you forgot to grab the, uh, the goat food, you know, that I was like, oh, of course, I would never be able to do that. And I'd be sitting here for ages. I still will be sitting here for ages. Very likely that this whole stream will be me thinking about the goat. But in this case, it appears that we have all of the tools necessary to defeat the goat. So now we just need to use my brain, my very small brain, to figure out what to do here. The color suggestion that we were talking about earlier does make me wonder if I'm missing a hotspot on here or something like that. So we're going to do a little quick scrub, just a little scrub, make sure we're good. There's the goat. Looking good. Looking good. Okay, I think we're good over here. I really think we've... Yeah, broken... Yeah, broken search movement. <laughs> oh, doggo brain as well. That's true. That's true. Um, yeah, it's just down. The top of a ladder rose out of the squarely dug hole. The goat's movements were restricted by a halter tied to a metal post. <laughs> yeah, goat sim. There's a metal post over here somewhere. I don't see it. I guess it's over here somewhere. <laughs> Bonnie scared the goat away. I wonder what she would do with the goat. I'm trying to think. I think she'd probably try to like play with it. So we used to, um, so my, my, my mom lives, um, in the middle of like milk country in New York. Right. And, um, anytime that we used to go up there, like Bonnie would jump in the back of the car and we'd go like visit my folks and stuff. And, um, there were go, uh, not goats. There were cows that were like right up where my, my folks place was. And yeah, when we go up there, like we'd pull up next to the goats and she would get so excited about the the goats. Like uh, she'd like go up to the window and like we rolled the window down and she'd like sit there and like be so excited about about, I don't know, the 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 cows. But the cows are obviously much, much larger than her. So she didn't get like close to them, but like was like very interested in what was going on there. Um, goat Goat is in the middle mid-sized goat uh, for a mid-sized dog. So I'd be curious to see what, what she would do. Can you go up the stairs? These ones here? Yeah, you can. So this this takes us up to uh, the, like where that giant hay bale is. Um, so maybe we basically go over the wall back to the pub over here. <laughs> yeah, the game notes. These very helpful notes. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize. It's funny because I, I, in other games that I've done this for, those notes have actually been particularly helpful. But these ones are all just kind of joke, joke notes. Um, 
Look at him. Look at him back up there. Is there something to do with this backing up here? You see the, like how slowly the backup happens? Let's see what happens over here. Like takes a while for the backup. The problem is we are we also take a while to get up. Which I don't love. Oh, we we warped out. That's kind of cool. Don't tell me I could just right click and warp over oh, things. Boy. No. Okay. In Toonstruck, you could right click and you would just like uh, go from one room to another. But that was that was a jump there. That's something. I'm sure that's in the speedruns, but the top. Double click. Mm. Mm. There it is. I think you have to be kind of close to it. There is a warp tech. Okay. I figured if anybody had figured it out, it's probably that crew. What do we need to do here? And can we like do something while the goat is backing up, perhaps? Yeah, we still only move back to this particular spot. I'm furiously clicking right now. It's just weird that there's, yeah, George, George is almost certainly in bad shape. <laughs> it's that pine of Guinness or whatever. That is, uh, doing the trick. Oh, what? Was the running before George? The rope by which the goat was tethered had become tangled on the old plowshare. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play the fanfare here because I feel like I deserve it after that. There we go. Cheers, everybody. Insane. So. So I was right, I guess, in that if George could just put a little pace in his step, we'd be fine. But I had to figure out kind of like the order, right? So what happened? We had the goat come over here. I don't know if that matters. I guess it does, right? Because the goat takes a while to move back. And then by clicking on the plow, we sprint over to the plow. Hey, Billy. The goat responded with a cool and penetrating stare. What an interesting, <laughs> what an interesting puzzle. So, yeah, as, yeah, Amiga runs, you you nailed it right there. Like the, the game doesn't tell you, hey, you know, by the way, you can you can run if you do it this way. You just kind of have to guess because that is that is a little bit like this makes sense. Like goat getting caught on the oh, axle thing over there that that I get that totally makes sense to me. But like the fact of like you just need to you just got to <laughs> you just have to run over there at a very specific moment and they don't really like lead you into like this. That's how this works. That is a uh, 
Well, that's a tough one. That's the reason it's infamous. Makes sense. <laughs> GG, Kit. Welcome back, ATK. Well, thanks to the GGs, everybody. Thank you. That that is a very satisfying feeling to have that we've um, that we've managed to make our way through. I guess we'll head down now. Oh, we got a cutscene. Here we go. Oh, yeah, I will take a save here. That was uh, we did do a lot, and we I think we feel like we've narrowly escaped death a number of times now. Goat. Actually, hang on. We need to resave that as KC was referring to life pre goat and post goat. So this is now called post goat. This is my life post goat now. Okay, so this goes back outside. Um, I guess this is the. The, the temple or whatever thing the the the, the templars like area that they found under here right the idea is that the goat does not have the time to do the whipping untangling of the motion yeah yeah that it's it's such a subtle animation and i did catch up to the fact that it like would back up super slowly but yeah, it's the run thing. The run thing is, I don't know how fair that is. Very interesting. What a, what an interesting little puzzle. I'm really happy I got through it without having to, <laughs> without somebody spoiling it, and then two, me not having to look anything up. I'm actually good. The one question of like, did I have the inventory, I think is a fair one. I feel fine about that. Feel fine about that. The only object on the table which interested me was a small sack. Sack. Let's have a look actually in what's going on here. Any interesting information about this? Don't leave. Don't leave, sir. Excuse me, sir. I, I right clicked. Okay. Well, there's nothing to look at there. What about this? What is there this? There was a pattern of five holes arranged on the wall. They'd been drilled there deliberately. Okay. What about you? Behind the altar was a carved panel decorated with animals, birds, and plants. Okay, and then we have the, the sack over here, huh? The sack contained a fine white powder. Hmm. That could be... As I dipped my fingers into the soft white powder, I realized what it was. Plaster of Paris. Uh -huh. I used it in kindergarten to make casts of animal paw prints. Paw prints. So we have, do we have that now? Yes, we do. It was a handful of plaster left in the castle by Pegram's archaeology team. Okay. Okay. Plaster. So we have we have a source of water, right? Isn't that how plaster Paris works? You get it wet and then you kind of mold it and then it, then it hardens. So we have the rusty water. Let's keep that in mind as we uh, we move ahead. Okay. I tried in vain to move the panel. I placed my fingers and thumb into the holes in the wall. Nothing happened. George, it's it's not a bowling ball, sir. <laughs> yeah, let's look at that animation again. It is pretty funny. It's low. Look at that. I tried in vain. <laughs> Little did we know, George was a, uh, a lineman for the Oakland Raiders back in the day. Um... Okay. So we need to <laughs> we need to stick things into the hole. Um, see if we can interact with it at least. Okay, just a shrug. Very cool. Very cool. Very cool. What about we have the the stone? Stone 
came from here, almost certainly, right? That's helpful. Behind the altar was a carved panel decorated with animals, birds, and plants. And it does not appear like there's any other thing to interact with. It's just this, just those, right? I reached into the sack, but it was empty. Oh, this is it. We can only get one. Very good. Okay. The only object, the only, there was a pattern of five holes arranged on the wall. They'd been drilled there deliberately. Okay. Okay. I guess we'll go out on a limb and we'll check into the water, which has been running for years now at this point. I mean, I don't know if there's, yeah, probably nothing I can do with the goat anymore. I would, I hope. feeds the goat that's a great question because i it doesn't seem like anybody anybody's there <laughs> i don't want a curry i would love a curry right now hopefully i don't actually have to fix these pumps because i've got no idea on that on that side of the thing Unless I can do it with this plaster Paris here. That really, that's what. That after I was like, this is obviously a thing that I need to do. Use a little container here. No. Sheesh! I really thought I was onto something there. Instead, I'm I'm coming up short here. Getting shrugs, big shruggles here. Bless you. Well, time to ask everybody on the earth about the plaster Paris. Excuse me. Uh, yes, sir. Does this? I knew it. The minute you walk through the door, I knew you'll spell trouble. Now, just a minute. It might be what you're used to in New York, but we don't use that stuff here. Hey, it's plaster. I found it in the castle. <laughs> All right. New York getting a bad rap out here. Hello again. What? What do you make of this white powder? Ah! <laughs> Tell me that's it. Hair fever. That, that is basically it. If he hadn't have said hay fever, if he just screamed, I would have been so happy. <laughs> Do you love a Tim Curry? <laughs> Andrew Densha, welcome. Uh, yeah, of course. That would be amazing. I think that's all that this game is missing, is, is Tim Curry. <laughs> what do you know about white? Hello. What now? Do you recognize this white powder? Seems ordinary enough to me. Right, good talk. Good talk. Do you recognize Seems. It's interesting. Every time we talk to I this guy, go. it does go into a um, like an actual dialogue. But with these other folks, they don't they don't do that. Excuse me. You just take Brian. that one answer. Hello 
there. What now? What do you make of this white powder? Could it be bicarbonate under it of soda? No. Maybe. Hey. Hello there again, mister. Do you recognize this white powder? No, I don't. <laughs> no. Very definite situation there. Okay. Um... It was a handful of plaster left in the castle by Pegram's archaeology team. Bunch of plaster, huh? I looked at the plug I'd fixed and felt a glow of pride. All my own work. Touching the glass washer would have been like putting my hand in a blender. Okay. What do you think of my Volvo? <laughs> that would be great. I think this is pretty much locked in place here. Lever. Can we use my? I looked among the cleaning materials, but saw nothing I could use. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nothing there. I feel like we need to mix the plaster with something. That's kind of like what. Or my head's at, but I might be thinking of this in the wrong way. I guess there's one other liquid, right? And that liquid is the, uh, the lager up here. I don't see the, the cup there, Excuse so we'll me. see if we can maybe ask for one. Uh, yes, sir? I don't know if that... No, I guess not. I don't want anything. Uh, just give me a shout when you do. Hope I didn't like dead end or something. I don't think there's any dead ends in this game. But that would be a real... <laughs> that would be a real bummer. So I was trying to think of like little like like what what's what's wet out there that we can mix this uh, stuff with and if we I mean and unless unless this is really silly and like I can't use the plaster with the water when it's on like I need to use like it's like an order thing where it's like you have to have the sink off then use the plaster with the sink off and it turns it on and do, I don't know we'll try that just to cross off the list sometimes games get a little pedantic with it <laughs> yeah they're they're really laying into it aren't they I Lord, shut off the faucet as tight as I could but it kept on dripping oh maybe we just need a drip Drip is, is, is good enough. Okay, well, <laughs> guess not. No Sierra Mayhem, that's good. We've had enough Sierra Mayhem for a little bit. Ooh. King's Quest 2 is on the wheel right now, and it will be on the wheel again, because we never hit it. Uh, so it'll be back this weekend but trying to learn that speed run it's been a long time since i played king's quest 2. boy that was uh <laughs> that was a doozy i just feel like i need to use plaster everywhere i will say this about this game when things don't work i almost kind of prefer the shrug rather than him being like obviously you don't you can't do that like i get so annoyed with games when they're uh trying to like insult me for trying an answer you think i'm proud of this hey mcguire what do you want to know do you know what this white powder is no all right good good talk mcguire do i know what do i want to know which screen the missing thing is in so I'm missing something, I guess. That that I've gleaned. Uh no, well. 
do we think that I'm missing this thing because of <laughs> uh, because of my uh, color blindness? Because if so, perhaps I would want to know. But if not, um, I wouldn't know. It is okay. Hmm. I'm very tempted to say yeah because. All right. Well, let, give me give me a moment. I guess. Real quick, I'm just going to check over here. This is like the one spot that I didn't really get the opportunity to walk towards. Oh, I can't even get over there anyway. <laughs> you just want to see this man suffer. <laughs> no way was I going near that old goat. Can I go any further this way now that we're out here? That's not obvious. My guess, if I had to guess, is either that it's down here in this new room because it's new and I haven't really fully explored it, or it's the basement. I feel like I feel like the basement is the more likely place because that is um, in a color scheme that <laughs> that is tricky. And also, I think the, the colorblind comment came up before we even came down here, so that actually really leads me to believe that it's probably somewhere closer to the pub. I did a pretty good scoop of that room, so... I'm trying to get the warp thing. Yeah, it took me a lot longer than just walking there normally. But... It could be on this screen. This would be a, a, a tough one as well. All right, here's what I'm going to do. I am going to walk into... This is the only interactable thing here. The drain was covered with an iron grating, through which I could hear the rush and surge of running water. Running water. Can we just use this on here? Running water, that's, you know, good for us. Yeah. Okay. That would be a bit of an odd one. It would be nice to be able to... Uh... We also haven't used the flashlight yet. I feel like I want to use that at some point. Draw a mustache on goat. <laughs> That'd be nice. The flashlight. Is there anything with the flashlight that I haven't tried yet? No, nah, that's it's that's no big deal. Um, the colorblind thing is something that I can't I don't have any control on and that only eliminates one room. There's like four other ones <laughs> that I can uh, work on. So it didn't it's not like a huge help. Um, if anything, that's a. Uh, like that's not as much of a hint as it's uh, maybe could have been. So, yeah, no worries. I, I think. If there is a suspicion of colorblind uh, thing, feel free to allude to that. That's perfectly fine. <laughs> this game in particular has some small ones because even, yeah, the ones that I even can see like are like this was twinkling. But if it was just that little box there, that would have taken me like a hundred times to go through and, and figure that out. Um, hmm. 
I looked among the cleaning materials, but saw nothing I could use. That, did we get that for this? No, you just gotta shrug. The faucet creaked, coughed, and spewed out a stream of rusty colored water. Got a very stupid hunch. Hang on. Now I'm being super perceptive on like uh, textures on the ground now, and I saw a little circle that probably is nothing, but I'm just gonna double check. That a thing? No. You see what I'm talking about? That there's like a little knot in the wood. Looking for everything. <laughs> All right. Uh. I'm a bit worried that I can't see whatever this is supposed to be. I am a little bit concerned. Hang on, what is that? Is that it? What is this? What is that? The man's arm lay across the towel, preventing me from moving it. The towel? Okay, so this is a... What is, what is this? The man's arm lay... Hey, lift your hand up again. As the man raised his arm to drink, I snatched the towel away. Okay. So I only lifted my, um, my mouse over here because I was going to try the taps again to see if maybe there was some sort of, like, thing I could do with the taps. Um, but yeah, that was hard for me to see. <laughs> that was hard for me to see. Um, so that, that, that was a perfectly fine thing to, to ask about. <laughs> How did the colors blind me? Yeah, I've got I got tough a tough time seeing some things uh, out there. Where is the towel? Is this the towel? It was the soggy tissue I'd found in the sewers. Oh no, it's this. It was a rectangle of toweling printed with the words Nagopaline Stout builds body. It was a rectangle of toweling printed with the words Nagopaline Stout builds body. Nagopalines. Shouts out to Nagopalines. We use that with this? Hmm. Maybe not. Okay, but that's a line. That wasn't just a shrug. It wasn't just a shrug. Um, I guess we'll see if we can maybe use the towel. Do we get the towel wet? No. What do you know, George? No. Why? Okay, I thought he was going upstairs. I was like, don't do that. Can't wait for the shrug here. Oh, no, we, we got it. What towel? I held the towel under the faucet and soaked it with water stuck it immediately in my jacket the towel was soaked through with water okay can we use that uh that is not a good idea okay particularly bad idea according to this okay so we've got a <laughs> this is the best thing about adventure games is that we've i feel like we just like cracked a huge puzzle and all we've done now is we now have a wet towel we've got a wet towel folks that's all <laughs> That's all that happened here. We have a wet towel. The towel was soaked through with water. So we can't use that with the plaster because it's a bad idea. I don't know if there's anything else that makes sense to use this with, right? Like a uh, wet towel? No. Okay, maybe we get this with everything. So maybe this is... Uh, uh no. Okay. I suppose that means that we need to use that towel with another thing. 
<laughs> Put towel on hot sand. Excuse me. Start the uh, yes, sir? the steel drum. May I borrow this towel? Sure you can, on one condition. What's that? You keep it away from old Ron. Who's Ron? That's him in the corner, with the hygiene problem. <laughs> okay. Thanks. Well, I guess we have to do this. I'll save really quick. Um, this will be post goat. But we have to. Okay. Hello again. Why do we need to keep a towel away from this guy? What? Could you use this towel? I could. But it wouldn't be much use for anything else. Well, that's... That's what we're going with, okay. Right, that was very insightful. <laughs> it would, yes, yeah, Snowy. I think that doing what we did here is a particularly bad idea. Can use the wet towel over here. I feel like I have to try it on everything now, right? I considered tying the towel to the grating. Yeah. But it seemed pointless. Okay, so we just we decided to not do that. Got it. Okay. I thought about solving a puzzle and then I did it. Hey, McGuire. What do you want to know? What do you make of this kid? Hey, that's one of Leary's towels. He'll skin you alive. That old windbag doesn't scare me. Anyhow, I'm only borrowing it. You're pretty cool, mister. For an old guy. Meanwhile, Maguire is about 30 years older than George is. I'm gonna try to use the towel on everything. Because I can. I feel like I'm missing a step. That is what it, my gut is telling me. That there's a step between wet towel and thing that I need to do in this uh, post-goat room. But I can't prove that. Benjamin Button. That is who that guy is. Let's see, though. Got an opportunity to uh, to play around with this wet towel in here. Maybe we can. Uh... Okay. I tried in vain to move the panel. You did, but did you try the beer wet towel? No. Okay, no problem. It's interesting that the bag is still um, interactable differently. Uh, that is not a good idea. Okay, not a good idea. This is empty, right? I reached into the sack, but it was empty. Yeah, it just showed up once. Yes. Yeah. Twitch, Twitch chat. I've had so much issue with uh, with Twitch chat recently, actually, like when I've been on other people's channels, um, where it keeps like disconnecting me and reconnecting me, but like the stream itself is fine. So I've actually just started using chatty for like everything now because it's such a pain. What is this? Did I not touch this? What is it? The statue was too heavy to lift. It overbalanced into the sand. What is it? The statue lay face up in the soft sand. Is it like a... As I swung the stone upright, I noticed it had left a pattern of holes in the sand. Uh-huh. Go on. 
I placed my fingers in the five impressions left by the fallen stone. It was weird. They fit perfectly. Okay. So you're telling me that we need to get this up here. Or better yet, because this thing is heavy, we need to plaster it there. So now the, now the game is afoot, folks, because how do I convince the game that I know what to do with this? Wet beer towel? No. Okay. No way. No way. Because I'm assuming this will just fall back over again, right? The statue was too heavy to lift. It overbalanced. Okay, hang on. I've got an idea. Disconnecting you from your own stream so they I continued without so dropping back frames. To its original position. <laughs> yeah, I I think that that has actually happened uh, to me as well when I like I I have one over here and I have one on my main screen as well and like uh, the the Twitch one that's over here just goes bonkers sometimes. I don't know what it is. All right, so I've got an idea. We use this with the holes. It's gonna fall into it, right? I squeezed the towel as hard as I could, but it was barely damp. Is this a timed thing? Oh. The towel had dried out and was barely damp. Oh, George. Okay, fine. Time to use our speedrunning skills. Unless this is another puzzle, or I need to, like, <laughs> make sure that I... Maintain ultimate moisture for this towel. Okay. We're going to do the next logical step, which might not be the official uh, solution. But is the, the logical next step, and that is to re-wet the towel... And then hoof it. <laughs> right, Snowy? I don't know. He did immediately stick it in his jacket. So who knows? Like, maybe his jacket is wet. Maybe we should be trying to wring out the jacket rather than the towel now. <laughs> the moisturizing cream. <laughs> All right. Here we go again. Beer towel with the water. Okay, here we go. Let's hustle. Can we get can we get George to sprint again? We know we can do it. We saw it with the goat. Cat's out of the bag now. That would be like the ultimate speed tech for this game is to like get that George running to the goat animation, but just get it throughout the whole game, uh, the whole like the whole game. Heather, <laughs> it's just lazy. Yeah, seems that way. You mentioned Grog, not rats. This does remind me of uh, the Grog puzzle in Monkey Island 1 a little bit. If we had like a second towel to transfer the moisture to or something. Okay, we're going. We're hustling. Alright, this has to be good. This is as quick as we could possibly make it, probably. I don't think that we've goofed too much here. Okay. Oh, I missed. Missed the hot spot. Be kind. Find to me game. A snoozement. I think that's a great idea. Oh yeah, look at that. Very moist. I squeezed every last drop of water out of the towel and watched it draining away in the sand. Ah, okay. <laughs> I 
I sprinkled the plaster on the sand until the holes were filled. The patch of sand where the statue had fallen was covered with a dense sprinkling of plaster. Okay, I assume that I need to do plaster, then water, then statue. But, just to make sure, we'll do the, uh, George. Jo George. I smoothed the plaster level with the sand. It was my first experience of home improvement. Oh? Okay. Let's go get another wet towel. <laughs> I don't think this will let me do it until we get this thing nice and wet here. Oh, how frustrating. These are so far away from each other and you have to wait for this guy to just kind of like just slowly work his way there. <laughs> Moisture gaming. Indeed. Keeping it. Keeping it nice and wet in here. Extra humid gaming. Did I ever see the Tim Allen Doom level? <laughs> no, I have not. But that is something that uh, sounds like I'll have to check that out. <laughs> the last time I thought about Tim Allen for this uh, moment of me doing the Tim Allen home improvement grunt impression there was I was watching Bill Bull uh, do a run of that home improvement. I think it was on Super Nintendo or something like that. What an insane game that is, that like platformer. <laughs> it's Don Bluth animations, yeah. We paid good money for these things. We're, we're getting our money's worth out of it. Every texture was replaced by the same Tim Allen picture. <laughs> what? <laughs> that is exceptionally cursed. <laughs> and, I, and I love it. Okay. Let's see if we can get this done here. We're so close. I think we made it pretty quickly here. I, I'm hoping that our our towel is still of sufficient moisture. <laughs> okay, um, I'm just gonna do this. It's not like we, yeah, okay, we don't do it that way. We do it this way. Boom, boom. Plaster's down there. Towel wet. Yes. The trickle of water was quickly absorbed by the plaster. Oh, let's go. Okay. Now, please don't just shrug. What? It was a statue which had fallen from its place. Of okay, the no, the holes are down there. fingers of stone projected from the back of the carving. I'm I'm overthinking this. I thought that we needed to hit it in there and then we pull it out and then that was the casting. But I'm I'm overthinking it. The holes were already down there. Um All right, is this ready? I eased the solid piece of plaster from the sand underneath. Let's go. It had formed a perfect copy of the statue. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that was tough. <laughs> that took me a minute to figure it out. Replaced every texture with the same picture. Oh, boy. <laughs> Let's stick this thing in here. I think this must be it, right? I probably should have saved beforehand. Who knows what, what's going on here? The cast fitted snugly into the five matching sockets. 
There was a soft thud. Then silence. Oh, what's behind door number one? Oh my. It seems like Uh, wet owl gaming. Very good. Okay. The fragile replica was jammed into the sockets in the wall. I decided not to disturb it. That's fair. That's a good choice. Yeah, one short eye. Good to see you. <laughs> Running with the wet towel again. That's true. I probably should have done that a little bit smarter with the towel but here we go this is how it works right <laughs> i'm really enjoying this a lot this is a really cool game i don't think i've played a game quite like this one before because this is very different uh, as was toonstruck to be fair um but th this game is very different than like the lucas arts and sierra games that i've played previously it just has its own kind of feeling and vibe to it the the um the way that the story unfolds and the way that you speak with people and interact with things is like particularly different. Um, I like it. It's really fun. I'm I'm enjoying it. It has been a little bit tricky. The goat thing was a little bit, um, you know, I think we all can agree that was maybe not the fairest puzzle in the world. Um, but yeah, it's been good. It's been really, really good. All the adventure games I've played lately, is there anyone that I want to speed run later? Yo, Amiga runs. Uh, like like all of them <laughs> i am uh i yeah i'll i would like to do of of things that have recently happened i would love to do a like serious dark side detective grind i, I enjoyed that one a lot um tune struck i think um i really do think that there is a number of routing improvements uh that can be done to that game that i would like to spend some time doing that's another one um, this is probably an interesting speed run. Honestly, I'd, I'd be curious to take a look at it. Those are a few that come off the top. The other big one that I am incredibly excited to speed run, uh, once it's hit on the wheel, it's been on the wheel for a minute is Phantasmagoria. Um, I'm very excited to, to speed run that. I've done a couple handful of runs just to kind of like, you know, learn the, the, the run and it's been, I don't know. I think the FMV game is just fascinating to me. I think that that's such a uh, <laughs> kind of a cool thing. Um, but anyways, that's that's probably the top of my list along with the other ones. Oh, Indy Four, yes, Indy Four as well. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, we got a cutscene. We're using the flashlight, folks. Meanwhile, and Owl's Quest. So, where did you stay last night? At McDevitt's. I got to drinking with Doyle and a couple of the guys. That explains why you look so ill today. Did you get any sleep at all? Not much. I had to share the room with another guy. Did he snow? Hardly. He was dead. Then Leary woke me in the middle of the night to help <laughs> bail out the cellar. What? The cellar was flooded? Yeah. Some idiot had left the faucet running. <laughs> And you say P. Graham has disappeared? <laughs> Without a trace. But my visit wasn't a complete waste of time. <laughs> P. Graham's gem? The Templar's gem. Whoever Jacques Marquet is, he's in for a disappointment. Jacques Marquet? He's the guy who should have collected the gem from Fitzgerald. What are your plans? I want to find out who, what, or where Montfaucon was. All I've got to go by is the name and a picture of a hanged man. Okay. Okay. Yo, yeah, what's up, Pazzi? <laughs> That's 100% true. There are some that are, yeah, very much intact, and there's some that are completely, like... It's just, it makes no sense at all. And that actually makes me think of, um, of Phantasmagoria. Like you could watch that game and not know anything of what's going on because it's sort of just like, okay, there's like a woman walking around on the screen. Oh, it's day two now. Okay. 
I guess she's moving in some other places. Oh, this is like an interesting... Oh, it's day three now. Pretty big house. Oh, day four. It's like, just over the course of five minutes, it's, there's just no context. It's just like people warping around. It's it's quite funny. <laughs> the uh, Yeah, I agree, Archie. The, uh, <laughs> the, the faucet running. I'm glad that is a thing. That is so good. Yeah, we didn't even fix the pumps. We just broke everything. Broke everything more. Uh, okay. Um, let's ask, I guess, about this. Let's take another look at the manuscript. Okay. So we we have a hanged man. Is that what we had here with the gem? That's the gem that Pegram found in Loch Marne. That's the tripod in the crew museum. Yeah. There's a woman looking at her reflection in a mirror, but the reflection has three hideous faces. Okay. The night scroll bears a phrase in Latin. Through my teachings, you will be enlightened. There's a guy working on a loom. Shouts out to Brian Moriarty. There's a guy with a sword and a bull. Between them is a gem supported by a tripod. Okay. I guess that is all we we have here. Um, Look, Nico, a handful of plaster. We have more plaster. Yeah. Why is it that men never really grow up? What's your problem, sister? Your pockets stuffed with useless junk like little boys. You never <laughs> know when useless junk might come in handy. There you go. Put that on the poster. <laughs> Adventure games. <laughs> Left the wire in there. Yeah, that is, yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, Lockmarn in flames. <laughs> Bartender will remember that. <laughs> Complicated but compelling. Yeah, it's very interesting. This is like not... I guess I didn't really know where this was going to go. But it sort of initially has this making of being like a normal murder mystery game. Like, oh, I guess we're going to solve a murder. But like it, it has sort of like gotten very quickly into other directions. It seems much deeper. It's really cool. <laughs> it does not understand the world she inhabits. Yeah, she's she's fighting against the uh, the natural being of things, which is that uh, you, you, you collect everything and use everything with everything else. Um, all right. Do you want to look after the gem? No, Josh. I'd be too tempted to sell it. Okay, pretty honest, I suppose. Oh, we have our little uh, tool back. Cool. I guess. Um, I guess we're good, right? We got everything that we need. Do you want this photograph back? No, you keep it. I can always make another print. Oh, what else? Oh, this. Did I show you this matchbook? Huh? Oh, yeah. Okay, good. Show the plaster. Hey, Nico, shake hands with me. No chance, Buster. <laughs> okay. I can't sit here all day, much as I'd like to. Okay. Don't forget to look for Lobino at the Kron Museum. Okay. And why don't you see if Rosso has heard anything? Okay. Anything else I can do for you while I'm out? Shopping, a trip to the laundromat? Just take care of yourself. Uh, and then tripod. Just making a couple notes. Alright, cool. Alright, at this juncture here, folks, I am going to turn in for the night. We've just hit hour number five. Well, actually, we're on hour six now at this point, but we've completed hour five. 